So, amen, as the days are approaching and the end times are coming, you'll see, amen, the desire to worship God will be phasing out. Amen? From the nominal Christian. But the one that is connected with Him, connected to Jesus Christ, will be drawing closer and closer and closer to Him. She will be so much in union with Him. Amen? That the prophet says, as she nears the headstone, she'll be in his very own image and likeness. Yes. Amen. Amen. So I don't know about you, but when we look at our own lives, we can see whether the word is having an effect on our lives and whether it is changing our lives. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. So whatever we're reading in the word ought to be reflecting in our own lives. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. So we, amen. We just, what we're doing is we just succumbing to the word. Allowing the word to have free cause and take away everything that's not of his oh, yes, and just Lord, let the word grow through us. Amen. Mm. Amen. So I believe tonight there's a sister, sister Narasha. Is it Narasha? Amen. God bless you. Amen. Pray that you be blessed in the house of the Lord. Amen. And uh, we'll pray for you after the service. Amen. Sister Ruth uh, told me that you'll be coming tonight. And we're glad that you can be here. Amen. To hear the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. How many of you believe that our God is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Amen. When we say that, it's not guesswork. Yes. Amen. The Bible says, by the stripe, by his stripes, we were healed. Amen. Amen. So when he died on the cross, when he took those stripes for us, he took care of every sickness, every disease. Amen. Every trial we'll go through, Jesus took care of it. Amen. So there's no new sicknesses can come that the blood of Jesus and the power of Jesus cannot touch and heal. Science may put new names to things and variants and different things, but it's all covered, amen, through redemption. Yes. So there is nothing that will be impossible with you if you can believe. The Bible says, if you can believe, all things are possible to you that believe. So even as you hear the word of the Lord, amen, I pray that your faith will increase and believe and trust Jesus that he's able to meet you at the point of your need. I know if you have come under expectation, amen, yes. amen then you're going to go out receiving. Oh, if, you didn't, thank you. if you came with no expectation, then you won't be disappointed. Amen. amen? If you came with no expectation, then you won't be disappointed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But we've come under great expectation. Amen. amen. Because we know this is God's provided place where he talks to us, oh, yes. where he amen. speaks to us. Amen. Let's stand together. Hallelujah. Amen. Our brother Joshua will be sharing the word of the Lord tonight. Amen. So you be under expectation and you pull on the gift. Amen. Amen. You have the ability. The brother can be gifted, but you have the ability to operate the gift. Amen. So whatever is in your heart's desire, whatever you say, Lord, speak to me. Amen. The Holy Spirit can pick up that desire. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, I know, oh God, that you're going to move in a special way, Lord Jesus. Father, I know you're going to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ever ask or think, oh God. Lord, I pray you'll take away every nervousness. You'll take away, Lord, every, Lord, unsettledness, oh God. And Father, I pray, Lord, we'll focus in and zero in on your word now, Lord Jesus. Oh, we want to look to you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Let's sing the word of God ever true. Changing me and changing you. The word of God, amen, hallelujah.
Father, we've come to you tonight. Yes, yes Lord. Thank you. In that most precious and wonderful name yes. of Jesus Christ. The name that's above every yes, other name. Yes, Father. hallelujah. The name whereby we are redeemed. Oh, yes, Lord. The name we are identified by, yes, Father. Lord. The name whereby we can claim our inheritance Amen. of all. Yes, Lord. And Father, we know that we are rightful heirs in your kingdom yes, of God. Amen. Lord, we did not come in, Lord, by robbery, Father. Yes. But we've come in by your chosen oh, way, right. Father. Yes, Lord. By your provided place. Yes, Lord. We come in because of inheritance of God. Yes, Lord. Because we come from your loins, O God. Yes, Lord. Father, we belong to you and no other. Yes. Amen. No one has any claims over us but you and oh, you alone, yes. Father. You. you have rightful claims over Thank us, O God. Lord. We are your prized possession. Yes. Yes, and we are here tonight as we surrender our thoughts to you, Lord yes. Jesus. We surrender our self-will to you tonight. We surrender our ideas, Lord. Yes. We surrender our own ideologies. Yes, we surrender every philosophy. We surrender every every carnal thinking tonight yes, lord. and lord we say come and have a lodge for our lives Amen. come lord and lord speak to us O oh god yes, yes, lord. thou knowest the things that we have need of for oh god yes, lord. you can discern our hearts and intents oh, yes, of our hearts O oh god yes, nothing could be hid I in your it. presence yes, O oh god yes, no demon power can stand in your presence yes, Tonight we know that your Holy Spirit is here amongst us. Yes, Lord. And Lord, right now, every spirit that is contrary to your word, yes, may it yes. become restless, Amen. may it become uncomfortable, yes, and Amen. may it flee yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That your Holy Spirit yes, will have the preeminence yes. over all things, O oh God. Thank you. For you are the supreme authority, O oh God. Thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we declare the service unto you, Lord. Amen. Come and speak to us. Yes, from the oracles of the Most High. Father, we yield ourselves completely and wholly unto you. Yes, O God. We love you. We appreciate you. And we know that all things are possible in your name. Amen. Many of us have needs. We know that you can meet each of each yes, one of us at Amen. our point of need. Yes, Lord. No matter what it may be, nothing is too difficult for you. You are God of paradoxes. If people have financial difficulties, you are Jehovah Jireh, our yes, provider. Yes, people need healing, you are Jehovah Rapha, our healer, our God. Oh, if people need comfort and peace, you are Jehovah Shalom, our God of peace. Oh, Lord, if people are feeling lonely, Lord, you are Al Shaddai. Oh, Lord, nothing. Lord, nothing, Lord, is impossible with you. For you have provided all things to us, O God. All things for your beloved bride. And we come tonight to line upon you. We give you now the praise, the glory, and all the honor, and all the thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I greet you all in the lovely name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <coughs> When you got your Bible, we turn to the book of St. John, <clears throat> chapter 15. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. You love the Lord? Amen. We know that uh, we've turned the corner. Yes. Amen. Amen. And uh, things are not the way it used to be. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. If you, even in the world, yes. Yes. things are not the same. Yes. yes. See, the world has even the world system has turned the corner. Yeah. When you are looking at politicians, when you are looking at uh, uh, the economy and all these things that are going around, please look at it with spiritual eyes. Yes. Look beyond the veil of those people, yeah. Amen. because two hundred million demons on the earth yes. influencing mankind. Yes. So just like that, we also have heard from another source. Amen. Amen. We are also being influenced 
from another source. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We have the angel of God amongst us. Amen. And he's our influence. Yes. Amen. He's the guide. Amen. Amen. Yes. He is the one that is leading us. Oh, thank you, Lord. He is the one that's taken us when we turn the corner. Yes. Lord. Wondering what waters are we going on to now? Where are we venturing into? It wasn't us, it's the guide that is leading us. Yes. Amen. When Moses was told to take the children out of Egypt to the promised land, Moses didn't know where he was going to. He had to follow the guides. Yes. The angel of the Lord went before him. Yes. When Joshua was commissioned to take the people over Jordan, he had to have the guide. Amen. Amen. He had to meet the captain of the house. Amen. Amen. When this prophet of God was given the commission and to go and take his message on the world, he had to meet the guide. Amen. Amen. It was the angel of God leading him. Amen. Yes. And that's why the angel of God even could lead him and say, don't follow those ministers that want to go to Cape Town and so forth. Yes. You need to come to Durban. Amen. Amen. He had to follow the guide. Amen. So just like that, we have the guide in our lives. Yes. Sometimes you might think your conscience is speaking to you, telling you don't do this, don't do that. If you are sensitive to the Holy Spirit, then you'll know who is speaking to you. Amen. You'll know who is leading you. Yes. Amen. And when you're hearing... Some of the, the revelation of God being unveiled to you week after week in such a way that it never was before, then you need to look behind the veil Amen. and recognize that the guide is here. Amen. Amen. He, the spirit of truth, when he come, yes. he will show you all yes. things. Amen. Yes. And he works through the fivefold ministry. Yes. Amen. The right. so same John chapter 15, I'm reading from verse 1. <clears throat> I am the true vine. And my father is the husbandman. Amen. So Christ is the true vine. Amen. Amen. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he take it away. Yes. Because there can be branches in the vine. Yeah. Amen. Grafted in. But they will bear no fruit. He take it away. And every branch that bear fruit. So there will also be branch that will bear fruit. He purged it. Yes. That it may bring forth more fruit. Amen. Because watch the husband man which is God. Working through the Holy Spirit. Coming down through the fivefold ministry. Amen. He must purge these branches. Yes. Because he don't want just fruit. Is what he says. That it may bring forth more fruit. Amen. Amen. Now ye are clean through the word. Yes. Which Amen. I have spoken unto Amen. you. Amen. Now this bride has not just received the, the letter rain. We received the former rain and the letter rain. Yes. So this bride receives word. And receives stimulation of Revelation. Amen. So now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Now this is not any word now. Yeah. Yes. This is not the word that you had when you had an experience in the denomination. Yes. Yes. This is not a word you had experience out there. Yes. No. This is the message of the hour. Amen. Amen. This is the original seed. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. This is the original word. Yes. This is the unadulterated word. Amen. Therefore, you couldn't have a new birth out there in your denominations yeah. because the atmosphere wasn't right yeah. to birth you. Yes. Amen. Amen. You had to come in the message of the hour to receive the new birth. Yes. You had to come under the right atmosphere. Yes. So he says, Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine. Amen. No more can ye except ye abide in me. Amen. You may be seated. I'll read more of that. I just don't want you to stand long enough. <clears throat> so he says, Now ye are clean through the words you have spoken unto you. Abide in me. So he's the vine, but he wants us to abide in him. Amen. Now automatically when he's saying he is the vine and we are abiding in him, now we know that uh, the vine, it cannot produce the fruit. It's the branches that produces the fruit. Yes. But the, if you look at the natural vine, the vine produces the sap. Yes. Right. 
And what, what, what is the self? That is speaking of the life. Amen. Amen. Because if you look at it in the natural, self can be considered like the blood of the vine. Yes. And just that we are like in natural now, let's do some biology. Like we have arteries and veins to transport blood through our body. Yes. The, the vine and flow, the vine has phloem and xylem. The flow would be more similar to oxygen rich arteries. This is the nutrient rich sap that flows from the leaves and brings the hormones and sugars to stem and roots. Now watch, watch that now in the spiritual. He says here, he is the main vine. That which comes out from the original root, from the original seed that has life in it. Now the vine does not bear fruit, it is the branches that do that. Yes. Now watch this, you can take a citrus tree as an orange tree and graft into it a grapefruit limb, a lemon limb, a tangelo, tangelo limb and other kinds of that variety and all those limbs will grow. But those grafted limbs will not bear oranges. Yes. Yes. No sir, Amen. the lemon limb will bear lemons. Yes. And the grapefruit limb will bear grapefruit and so on. Amen. Yet those limbs will be thriving of the life in the tree. Yes. But if the tree ever puts forth another Amen. branch yes. of itself. Yes. Amen. 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 We come from God and we go to God. Amen. Amen. So what is speaking about here in the scripture automatically you are seeing. There must be a connection with the branch yes. and the vine, the roots. Yes. Amen. There must be a connection between you and God. We must be of the same. Amen. You must come from the origins. Yes. But those grafted limbs, he said, but now when he's, when he's giving the scenario, you know what he's talking about, right? We know the message. Because there came a time after seven church ages yes. where the original word will come again. Yes. Because the prophet had to go out and sow. Amen. But he's going around the world yes. and he's sowing the seed. Yes. But he's sowing the seed for what? For another harvest time. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because he knew there was going to be an harvest time. Yes. Yes. And he's going and sowing. But he knew this one is going to produce the same life Amen. that was in the vine. Yes. Amen. Amen. So he's speaking tonight abiding in the vine. The bride is a fruitful branch. Yes. And you can, where I get the thought, you can look at Genesis 49, verse 22. You can put that up. <clears throat> Genesis 49, verse 22. When Joseph, I'm sorry, when, when uh, Israel, Jacob, his blessing is the 12 tribes, or the, his 12, the 12 sons, yes. his heirs, and he being Israel, being a prophet, yes. is, is prophetically prophesying over them. But when it comes to Joseph, in verse 22, he says, Joseph is a fruitful bough, even a fruitful bough by a well, whose branches run over the wall. Yes. Now Joseph, we know, types Christ. Yes. But the mystery locked up in Joseph is perfection. Amen. But and, and the bride has to come to perfection in this Amen. hour. So that mystery is the bride is typing perfection. Yes. And if she's going to be the perfect one in this hour, typing perfection in this hour, then she must be a fruitful branch. Yes. Amen. Not anyone else, not any other church, contemporary church. It's the bride that will be a fruitful branch. Yes. Amen. So we find that we find ourselves in the word, in the message. And we find ourselves living on this word. Amen. But if you remain stagnant and there's no growth, then there's something wrong with you. Yes. That's why God working through the fivefold ministry is going to come and bring the word. And the word is going to prune Amen. all the things, all this world out. Hallelujah. It's going to prune Laodicea out. Amen. Because Laodicea has such an influence on you. Yes. 
Yes. Your families of the world have such an influence on you. You say, I don't spend time with my friends. I don't spend time with people of the world. Watch your social media. Watch your communication because that's the communication. You don't have to go to them, but you can be communicating with them all the time. And decide if you are not a strong influence over them, they are going to influence you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because that's how strong the spirits are now. Amen. Amen. And that's what the word is coming to do. To, to prune you out. Amen. Yes. To keep reminding you that you are not like every other human being. Yes. That you are now somebody else, special on the earth. Amen. Amen. You were born for a purpose. Amen. You come from God and you are getting prepared. The message of the hour has come to prepare you for a rapture. The message of the hour is a going away message. The message of the hour is not an earthly message. The message of the hour is not to make you build your kingdom on the earth. The message of the hour is not to make you to stay earthbound. Amen. It shows you that you are an eagle. It comes to show you your true origins. Where you come from and where you are going. That you are a son and daughter of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But in this, and the message of the hour come to show you that you are living in the adoption age. Amen. And if you yes. are in the adoption age, you have to receive the spirit of adoption. Amen. Amen. And if you receive the spirit of adoption, then it means your growth cannot be stunted. Amen. Amen. It means that you are growing, you are progressing in the faith. Amen. Amen. That's why I said it's time we have turned the corner. Amen. Amen. The very word that we have received from we're not, we're not, it's being now progressing. Amen. Yes. More light is shown shining on it. Amen. Because, amen, it's now this vine is there now being a fruitful branch, yes. drawing out of the well, I mean, coming out of the well. Amen. Yes. amen. Yes. It's extending now. Amen. It's running over the wall now. Amen. Because it's by the well. What well? Amen. amen. This prophet has brought a message yes. that no light has shone over. Amen. 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 He had to dig a well that no light shone over. And then what produced from it? Serpent seed, marriage and divorce. Yes. The opening of the word, the seven Amen. seals, seven thunders. Amen. All these things. Amen. Amen. I began to pour out from the rivers of living water. Amen. Amen. Oh, it's a fountain of life. Amen. Amen. And we began to draw from it. We're not drawing from a broken system. We're yeah. drawing from this well, this rivers of living waters. Amen. 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 And we are abiding in the vine. Amen. And we must become fruitful branches. Yeah. Amen. Because He's pruning us. Yeah. Amen. For what? So that we can be fruitful. Amen. Amen. We can have a beautiful cluster of stimulation, of revelation. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You know how beautiful when God. He's, he's showing us in the word. He's showing us in nature how he's working. How all the mystery is being unfolded. Amen. Yes. That's why in the Bible, he's showing us that he's the vine. We are the branches. Amen. He's showing us he's the rose of Sharon. Yes. He's the lilies of the valleys. Amen. He's the root and offspring of David. Yes. He's the tree of life. Amen. Amen. Yes. He's showing us all these things. So he's, let me just give you this quote to give you context. So yeah, he's quoting this message. He says in St. John, the 15th chapter, he read the same verse 1, Jesus said, I am the vine, here, the branches. Now the branch and vine is connected together. Yes. Now, like I said, there's many other crafted branches in. But this branch, where it's of his kind, which has the same life, amen. Yes. Amen, it's connected together. Yes. Because in the uniting time and sign, there was an invisible union taking place. Amen. It, there was a connection taking place. This one here is now bearing the fruits of the spirits. Yes. This one is partakers of his divine nature, Amen. bringing you to a stature of Hallelujah. a perfect man. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It couldn't be done in Wesley's age. Yes. It couldn't be done in Luther's age. Yes. It couldn't be done in Pentecost. It had to be done under the right atmosphere. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. It had to be done in this age. Yes. When what? When the mighty angel comes down. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This word is taking us to eternity. Yes. Amen. This is an eternal word, an inexhaustible fountain of life. Amen. 
This is not some dried up philosophy. Yes. This is not some dried up theology. Yes. That's why you can't take this message and make it theology. Yes. You will kill it. Amen. Yes. Amen. You got to let the Holy Spirit oh, breathe life to it. You yes. got to let the Holy Spirit bring oh, it fresh. Yes, you got to give room for the Holy Ghost yes. to work. It is the same yesterday, today, yes. and Amen. forever. He's the same God that can produce miracles. He's the same God that can take this word Amen. and can bring it to life. Amen. Yes. Within you. In the same God that can take the violent sinner Amen. and transform their life yes. with the power of transformation. Amen. Amen. Oh, because rapturing faith lies in this word. Oh, yes. Amen. Because this word is getting ready. You are getting ready right now to change dimensions. Yes. Amen. Amen. You're going to change dimensions. This body is going to change. Yes. That's right. The sixth dimension is going to empty out. Amen. One of these days is going to be a reunion. Yes. We're yes. not far from there. Yes. We're living in that hour now. We are Amen. living in that season. Amen. Yes. It's coming to the season because oh, the rapture yes. cycle already started. Yes. While people are thinking there's going to be a rapture, the rapture cycle started already Amen. with a shout yes. to gather the living saints. Amen. Yes. And the shout is still going out. Amen. Yes. Because they come another cycle now where this bride must take this word and thou must prophesy again Amen. before nation, yeah. tongues and kings. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You're going to take the same word and the same Holy Ghost that was with the prophet is going to bring this word to light yeah. now in the present hour yeah. and he's going to prophesy again. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. You know, many people mistake our message believers as introverts because we are oddballs. We cannot stay long in the company of scoffers. Yes. We cannot stay long in the company of sinners. Yes. We cannot stay long in the company of those that cannot produce quality conversation. Yes. And our quality conversation is stimulation of revelation. Amen. Amen. So they mistake us for introverts because we don't want to speak much amongst them. We want to, we're to shy away. But the difference with us is that the only thing that stimulates us is revelation. Yes. And you might say, but we should be amongst all the people. Jesus was among the publicans. Yes. The prophet went around the world amongst all the denominations. He was fellowshipping with them, preaching amongst them. There was an hour for that. There was a time for that. Yes. But under the third pool, oh, yes. how many people was having conversations with him? How, under the third pool, how many people departed from Jesus? Yes. Where was the multitude then? Yes. Yes. Under the opening of the word. Yes. Amen. This is the opening of the word. Amen. It's come to show you your real family. Amen. It's come to show you where you truly come from. Yes. Yes. Amen. It's come to show you that our life on earth was already pre-planned. Amen. Things that are to be. Yes. Amen. Our life on earth, God pre-planned it. Yes. He knew what time and season we'd be born. Yes. He knew that He prepared us that we'll have an anointing for this age. Yes. He knew that for us to live out this age, He'll have to anoint us yes. to overcome this age. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. He's given us the overcoming power for this age. Yes. He knew what it would take. And He knew what caliber of people was needed for this age. Yes. We wouldn't have managed in the days of Paul. They had a different anointing. Yeah. We are anointed for our age. Amen. We are anointed to overcome 200 million demons on the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Demon power. Amen. Amen. We have to, to overcome the deceitful Australia. Amen. Yes. Where is going around deceiving. Amen. That is why when you see things are changing around the world in politics, in the, in the economy, and with the world system, you are not deceived. Yeah. He already told us what's going to happen. We already were one of what was going to take place. Yes. Amen. <clears throat> so all these things are not new for us, are not unusual to us. Amen. Yes. When you see wars, rumors of wars, and all these things that are happening right now, we shouldn't be shocked. Yes, when we see all the economies that are captured, we shouldn't be shocked. Amen. We, we know what Satan is doing. Yeah. Amen. We know that he's controlling the economies. Right. We know what his plan, what his end result is. Why is he doing that? 
But under this third pool, we are anointed to overcome this age. Amen. We are anointed the way he said, ask. If you abide in me and I abide in you, ask yes. what you will. And ye shall receive. Amen. Amen. You know the first time that was used was under Eti rites. Yeah. Amen. The prophet of God sharing what happened in the woods. Sharing the testimony. And she said, she amen the word. She believed it. Amen. Yes. She said, absolutely correct. That's absolutely the truth, Brother Brenham. And then she could have whatsoever she desired. Yes. She could have asked for money. She could have had it. She could ask for the healing of her of her sister, Edith, she could have had it. Whatever she wanted at that time, she could have had it. But she saw the need of eternal life for her boys. Now, you might have a different need. Whatever your need, if you are abiding in the vine, amen, whatever your need is, you can have it too. Amen. If you go into the scripture, it says, Let's read in verse 4. He says, Abide in me, and I in you. He said, As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye the branches. He that abided in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. Amen. Yes. So that is why you're finding a dead church world. Now, there was a time where they were producing some things. Because they were eating, they were drinking of the, the rain that was falling down. Yes. They were enjoying the rain that was falling down. But this is the hour now. They are not abiding in the vine. And whatever life was left in them died off now. Yes. Amen. Amen. And when the life dies off, it's no good anymore. Yes. It has to be just thrown for the fire. Yes. That's where we are right now. There's no more life in There was a few years ago. Let's go 10 years back. They had some life in them. But it completely died off now. And what they did now, they substituted, <laughs> substituted it for entertainment yes. in the church. Yes. They brought entertainment because that's the only thing they can do now. To keep the people in their numbers, to keep the people there, they have to have entertainment. And how did they get so big and mega and have all this money? Because when the prophet went out down to the south, amongst the Pentecostals, they were a poor bunch of people, but spirit-filled. And he saw something about them. And he was hiding there. And then they call, I told him he's a preacher and then they called him to preach. Yeah. You know the story. Yes. And now he preached and then he began inviting him. But when the ministry went under the first two pools, it produced a healing revival around, it spearheaded a healing revival around the world. Yes. <laughs> and it began, mm -hmm. those poor Pentecostals now began to get numbers. Yeah. They started to get the multitudes coming in. And because of the numbers coming in, they began to become very wealthy. And they began to produce numbers because they was, became successful in the ministries. And then eventually, under the third pool, now they rejected this prophet, they rejected the word. They couldn't produce any more now because this prophet is not amongst them. And as they started dying, they started bringing now other things in that are bringing doctrines, prosperity doctrines and so forth in to keep the numbers and to keep the money, to keep the wealth in the church. Yeah. Because what he says about the Laodicean church, yes, thou knowest thou art, thou, thou say thou art rich and increased with goods, but knowest not that thou art naked. Yes. Amen. Amen. So they became increased with goods and all these things. But they benefited from this ministry. Amen. They all benefited from this. But now it's time because they haven't abided in the vine. There's no life in them. Amen. Amen. So he said, And I in the same bring it forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. If ye have, uh, what is he? He's the word. Christ is the word. This 
Same Jesus, they declaim, I love you, Jesus. Oh, we, and we sing about Jesus. We love Jesus. But he said, if you love me, you will keep my words. Amen. And my words will not be grievous unto you. Oh, yes. Amen. So they don't want him the word. Yes. And his word is grievous to them. Yes. But they saying they love him. <clears throat> they love the benefit of him. Yes. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will. Yes. And it shall be done unto you. Amen. Now you think God is a liar? No. He's saying if you're abiding in me, which means now you're abiding in this life. You're enjoying this life. Amen. You are drawing from this fountain of life. You're abiding in the vine. Amen. You are staying in the word. Amen. You are faithful to the word. You are being stimulated by the word. Then he's saying, you shall ask what you will. Amen. Amen. And it shall be done unto you. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. And he's saying, Herein is my father glorified that ye bear much fruit. Amen. So shall ye be my disciples. You see how God is glorified when you bear much fruit. Amen. Amen. He said, As the Father loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. Now watch how he says how you do it now. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. He said, this is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Amen. Now how did he love them? Did he compromise? Or what he is the word? No. He brought his, he shared with them his word. Amen. How did he love them? He shared with his disciples the word. Yes. While he was speaking out there in parable, with them he revealed his word Amen. plainly. Amen. Amen. He began to speak his word in plain language to them. He opened up the word to them. Yes. Others couldn't see it, but they could see it. Yes. He said, and watch what he says here. <clears throat> These things have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. He said, This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love had no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends. He says, Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants. For the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. Yeah. Yeah. But I have called you friends. Yeah. For you, all Lord. things that I heard of my father, I have made known unto you. Amen. So if you want to still remain as a, if you are a son, but you can still remain as a servant. Yes. If you don't grow to maturity and the word is not made plain to you, then you can remain as a servant. Yes. But you are a son. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Because a son deferred nothing from the servant if he hasn't come to maturity and know how, and doesn't know how to handle the father's affairs. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. This is your adoption age. Yes. Right. Amen. You've got to know how to handle the father's affairs. Amen. You've got to know that you want this world to manifest your father's kingdom. Amen. Amen. You've got to be about your father's business. Yes. Amen. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God Amen. and his righteousness. Then all these things shall be added unto you. God is not depriving you of anything. No. Yes. But He's asking you to seek ye first. Amen. The kingdom of God and His righteousness. When Elijah went to the widow woman, <coughs> right? He asked her for a meal, to make him a meal, right? Because he's representing the word, the prophet, right? He's carrying the word. He asked the widow woman to make him a meal first. He said, do this first. Then the blessings came to her. Amen. She be had to be obedient to the word. Yes. For the word of God comes through the prophet. Yes. And she had to obey the word. Amen. When she obeyed the word, then the blessing followed. Amen. Amen. So seek ye first the kingdom of God and in righteousness. Yes. 
So God is not depriving us of anything. Yes. The stores is open unto us. Amen. Amen. All the things that you have need of, God is willing to give it to you. Amen. He said, but <clears throat> henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And ordained you. God chose His bride. Choosing of a bride. Amen. God chose His bride. He, for every age, He called the bride out. Amen. Which is all makes up the bride. Amen. And in this age, He called a peculiar people. People with certain characteristics that will be part of his bride. But I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you that ye love one another. Amen. If the world hates you, ye know it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. So you see, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. We are representing another kingdom while we are here. Amen. We are ambassadors of another kingdom. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. So, he is the word now, right? We know they are persecuting the word. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. So, when you are speaking, you are not speaking your own word, you are speaking his word. Amen. Amen. So, don't be shocked in the hour of the third pool, in the hour of the opening of the word, when you are preaching to the souls lost in prison, where people totally don't want to hear the word. Or oh, people are, are shocked at the thing that you're saying and they have no idea, they have no clue and they don't want to even hear it. So that's the hour that we're approaching now. Amen. <clears throat> but we still have to go and preach the gospel. Yes. He said you must take up your cross and follow me. Yes. He never said you mustn't be persecuted. Yes. But you will be persecuted for the true word. Amen. He said but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake. Because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto you, unto them, they had not, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hated me hated my father also. If I have, had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. But this come to pass. That the word might be fulfilled that is written in the law. They hated me without a cause. And we know that in a message indictment, this is what happened again. The word got crucified again. When the word, when the, when the message went, when this prophet went around the world, manifesting Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. 30,000 at one time being saved. 25,000 being healed. Truck seven. I don't know how many trucked out of the municipality was wearing with crutches and so forth. In a parade, yes, yes. people would wheelchair crutches all over yes. the Amen. people in India. When all the Brahmin and so forth, all the uh, Sikhs and the, the, the Mohammedans and all so forth there, when the man came and he said, if your God can heal him, I'll bow down to your God. But he knew that God already showed him yes. that that man that was praying to the sun, yes. that was made blind, he said, now, Father, I thank you for showing me. Now the man receive your sight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, you couldn't even hear a pin drop. Yeah. So this word was displayed around, manifested. Amen. But what happened? They rejected it. Yes. He said, but when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the spirit of truth, what proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me, because ye have been with me from the beginning. Amen. Amen. Aren't we thankful that we have the guide Amen. amongst us? Amen. The Amen. guide is here to lead us. Amen. The guide is here to show us the hour that we are living in. Amen. Amen. He's preparing us for the treacherous ground that we're walking upon. 
for this treacherous hour that's upon the earth. Because we are living in the hour where gross darkness is upon the earth. Man has become evil. Amen. Man has become haters of the word of God. Man has become haters of the things of God. Man don't want to hear about God, but he glorifies sin. Amen. While sin is being glorified, while Satan is being glorified, the things of the devil is being glorified, Christ is being glorified through his bride. Amen. Amen. And how is he being glorified? When we are bearing fruits. Yes. Amen. How is God glorified when we are bearing fruit? Yeah. <clears throat> when we are becoming fruitful. Amen. So this is the hour where the church is coming to perfection. Amen. Yes. This is the hour where it's a time now just before the resurrection. Just a slip in before the resurrection, before the gospel goes to the Jews, this church is coming to perfection. Yes. This church who have, who have been now seated in heavenly places and we made partakers of the divine nature of God. Amen. Amen. That she's coming now and walking in perfection. Amen. Yes. She's becoming fruitful, bearing forth fruits of the spirits. What hour are we living in? Amen. Amen. He says, <clears throat> call yourself Pentecost if you want to. He said, but where's the God of Pentecost? Yes. That's right. He said, where is he who appears before them? Who is it that come down to Paul at night when he was out in the ship and all hopes was gone, that everything was safe and the angel of God and the angel of the Lord come to him, said, don't fear Paul. Thou must be brought before Caesar and all these that sail with you, I give to you. That little Jew come out on the deck, arms bound, down with shackles and across his legs in his chain. Walked out there shaking his hand and saying, be of good courage. Amen. What was it? Angel of God, whose servant I am, stood by me last night saying, don't fear Paul. And sirs, I believe God that it will be just the way he told it to me. Yes, sir. What we need is not Pentecost, but the God of Pentecost. Amen. You're coming to the Jordan, men and women, each one of you is coming down to the Jordan. I don't know when that may be. It may be before daylight for some of us. But I tell you, there's coming a time that when you're going to need more than an old moth eaten robe of some church, you're going to need the God that sent the church of fire in its early days. Amen. You're going to have to have the vision that they had in the early days that was this. Yes. But the new school that's coming and the old that eat, been eaten and the doubts and superstition and theologies and things till the thing is no good at all. He said, call for the God of Pentecost. Yes. That's what we need today truly. <clears throat> he said, the servant of God has to call on God. He has to depend on God. Not his church, not his robe. He has to depend on God. God asking him to do the impossible. Amen. So, we're walking on certain grounds. God, God is asking you to turn a corner. And you're wondering, this is, how are we going to turn this corner? But you're calling on God. Amen. Amen. And he's the one that's the guy that's leading you. You've got to call on God for power of God to perform the impossible. Yes. If we be the Messiah's servant, we have to have the Messiah's power. Amen. Amen. If Jesus raised the dead, we must raise the dead. Amen. Heal the sick, we must do the same. Yes. Because why? He's working in and through the many-membered body yes. doing the greater works. Yes. Amen. That's how you're going to be fruitful when you are producing the life. When you are showing that same life that was in the vine, you are now showing it to the fruits that you bear. Amen. Amen. And he promised it to us. I am the vine, here are the branches. He said, I energize every branch yes. that brings forth fruits. Amen. Hallelujah. There you are. Yes. There it is. Yes, sir. He said, I energize the branch Amen. that brings forth fruit. Amen. Yes. Amen. He says, in Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. He says, when he was here on earth, he said, I am the vine, ye are the branches. And the vine does not bear fruit. The, the branch bears fruit. Yes. 
The vine only makes energy for the branch. You see, if you're not abiding in Him, if you're not connected with Him, how are you going to get energy to grow, to come to maturity in His hour? Amen. Hey, you know what? You know who is the connection between us? It's the Holy Spirit. Yes. The Holy Spirit makes sure we and the Word connect together, that we can come under operation. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit brings the same Word and brings life to it. Amen. Then the Bible says, "The letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life." Amen. Yes. Amen. And it brings us together with His Word, showing that we must produce that same life again. Amen. What we are? Messiah is on the earth again. Amen. Amen. Showing us that you are sons and daughters of God. Showing us you are the God man on the earth. Amen. I'm bringing you back to your original condition. Oh, you. Because while well, you're part of the original seed. Amen. So I'm bringing you back to what, what was fallen in the garden of Eden. I'm restoring you back there. Amen. What is restoration? Taking is a complete restoration. Yes. Amen. When we thought the restoration just came and restored the word. No, he's restoring us. Amen. Yes. Because what is a complete adoption? When even this body becomes changed. Amen. But right now, before we come to the body chain, he's bringing us back to dominion again. Yes. Bringing us back to the same things that Jesus did. Amen. Amen. The things that Adam lost, yeah. is bringing us back to that again. Amen. That must happen before the body change. Yes. Amen. Amen. So in between the body change and where we are right now, we're coming to dominion now. Amen. We're coming to sonship. Amen. Oh, yeah. We're coming to full authority. Amen. 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 The one that will say, speak to this mountain. Yes. So now if we call ourselves, sorry, where we are? He says, The vine only makes energy for the branch. And if you went out into the field down here in the river bottom and found a pumpkin vine, you'd expect that pumpkin to be bearing pumpkins. And if you found a watermelon, it should be bearing watermelons. If it's a grapevine, it bears grapes because the life is in the vine, pressing for grape juice or grape life or watermelon life into the branch. And the branch is producing what the vine is energizing for. Now, if we call ourselves Christians, and we are the Christian church, then we should be bearing the same type of fruit that the vine bore when he was here. Yeah. For he said, I am the vine, here the branches. If ye abide in me and my word in you, ask what you will, it will be done for you. Yeah. And the branch cannot live unless it abides in the vine. Amen. Now, if it's a good, healthy branch, the branch, if it's not healthy, something is wrapped around it, cut off the energy. Sooner, soon the pruner comes by and cuts that branch off yes. and then it's destroyed. And then today, after now, okay, now it'll be 2000 something years and we thought that Jesus is not dead, but he's alive. Do you believe that? Amen. We are seeing it in present time. Yes. If Jesus was dead, then how did we get here? If Jesus was dead, how did this message go around the world? Amen. A one-man ministry, yeah. taking this word, how can this one-man ministry, message, how can his message go around the world, in the jungles, Amen. in the Amazon, Amen. in the mountainous areas, yeah. to every tribe and nation, yeah. and they can believe what you and I are believing. Amen. Yes. Because it's the work of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 And if they got this, if they are drawing from the same vine, oh, yes. then they and they are the branches, the true branch that come forth, then they must produce the fruit. Amen. Amen. They must produce the same fruit. Amen. In the message, so we would see Jesus says, when Je talking about the same scripture here when in John 15, he said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Now the vine doesn't bear fruit, it's a branch. You know that. You people here, you grape raisins and so forth. Now, if that first branch that come out of the vine produced a book of Acts behind it, that first church, if that vine ever puts forth another, another branch, it'll write another book of Acts behind it. Yeah. Did it put forth? Yes, it did. Is the life here? Yes, it did. It is. So there must be the same works that was done in the book of Acts is being done now. Did they have the angel of God appear, appearing before them? 
that we have the angel of God appearing before us. Yeah. Have we seen miracles, signs and wonders? Yes. Have we seen Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today yeah. and forever? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And is this word now stimulating us? Amen. Is this word becoming lively to us? Yes. Amen. Is this word becoming more, how should I say, more, uh, is the word progressing amongst us? Amen. More light is being shown week after week. Amen. Amen. Then it's now producing another book of Acts. Amen. For the very life that in the vine brings forth into, another, into the branch. So we're not just going back to Pentecost. Yes. Amen. We had a Pentecostal experience. Yes. But we are going beyond that. Amen. Because now we're coming to our proper do dominion. Yes. Amen. We're coming to our full authority. Yes. Because that must happen just before the body change. Amen. And all this cannot happen if you're not drawing from the vine. Yes. But if you drawing from the vine, the Bible is a new book to you. Amen. The Bible becomes so real to you. Yes. Things that you, quotes that you've been reading all the time through the years. Scriptures that you've been reading through the years has now become a reality oh, to you. Yes. Absolutely. Amen. Because now you look at it through the eyes of God's Amen. word. Amen. Amen. Yes, because the faith of Jesus Christ is in you. You are now began to see your own self Amen. in the yes. scripture. Yes. You are now walking out of the scriptures. Hallelujah. And you sing, yeah, am I? I'm, I'm here in this scripture. Yes. I'm here in this scripture. Yes. This mystery, this shadow that yes. was revealed no. there, yes. that was me. This, this shadow in Joseph, this shadow in Esther, this shadow in Ruth, all down through the Bible. Amen. I can see it in me. This yes. shadow, amen, that was locked up in the seven locks of Samson. Yes. I can see it through the Bible. Yes. This shadow locked up in Gideon. I can see it. Amen. Yes. Amen. <clears throat> amen. And you begin to see yourself. And what it does, it makes you walk in perfect faith. Yes. Because why? What? Why you walk in perfect faith? There is no fear yes. in love. Because now you are part of Him. Amen. You yes. know your end results. Yes. Amen. You know the end results. Yes. You know that now you are about to have a body change. Yes. Thank you. The final adoption of the body. Amen. Where we can have, we with the redemption of our body. But before that, we know where we are right now because we know we can feel the sun, we can feel the tug. Amen. Yes. We can feel that something is drawing now. Amen. What is that? Something is drawing us to the other side. Something is drawing us. Amen. Amen. Something is drawing us for the body change. We are now about entering there through the word. To the stimulation of revelation that we are receiving. Amen. To the very word that we are feasting upon. One of these days is going to give us a body change. Amen. If you don't feel that. If you can't feel the tug. Then there is something wrong. Yes. Amen. Then you got to check. Then there got to be a pruning time. Amen. Because you got to be fruitful in this hour. Amen. Amen. You cannot be just bearing fruit. You got to be fruitful. Amen. Amen. Because that same fruit you bear will wither away. But you need to become fruitful and produce and produce. Amen. There has to be a continuous growth. You cannot remain stagnant in this walk. Yes. Amen. There must be a good report. The tutor must give a report. The tutor is coming week after week in your home, in your workplace. It is showing you the word. He is guiding you. Amen. He is shooting you. He is bringing you now. Showing that now this son and daughter of God they are able to handle the words. Yeah. I have confidence in them yeah. that they can handle the word. They can take this word and speak. Yes. Amen. But now, as a child, you wouldn't know this word. This word won't be revealed to you. You can't remain as a child and say, I don't know the Bible. I don't understand these things. 20, 10 years in a message, 20 years in a message, and you say, no, I don't understand these things. Is there something wrong with your walk? Yeah. You need to get back and draw from the vine. Amen. That's why God has given the fivefold ministry to bring the people to that level. Amen. Amen. The fivefold ministry is not there to preach over your heads. Yeah. The fivefold ministry is depending on the Holy Spirit to feed the people. Amen. The true fivefold ministry is always dependent on the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, before a preacher comes and preach here, a true fivefold is very nervous. He's a nervous wreck. Because he's dependent on the Holy Spirit to minister to the hearts of the people. Amen. To, 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 he, he knows that the Holy Spirit can discern the hearts. Yes. He knows the Holy Spirit has the rightful ingredients, the spiritual food that they need to sustain them. Yes, Lord. To give them a growth in this hour. No true minister want to come here and see the people same. Yes. Year after year, still the same. Some people even gone, withering away. Because that's what happened. Yes. It was a great exodus out. Amen. 
They couldn't produce. They wasn't growing from the vine. They were grafted in. Amen. And they withered away. But we want to see a fruitful bride. Amen. Amen. A fruitful bride. Yes. Last scripture, Isaiah 5 1. The book of Isaiah 5 1. He says, Now I will sing to my well beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My well beloved had a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. And he fenced it. And gathered out the stones thereof. Oh, didn't he put his edge around us? Yes. Amen. Didn't, he didn't leave us under those broken systems. Yeah. He didn't leave us with the filth of the world. He didn't leave us in the chicken barnyard. Yeah. He took us up as eagles, took us up on the hill. Amen. Amen. He made us to be seated in heavenly places. Yes. Amen. Amen. And he put his edge around us. That was the covering of the word. Amen. And he gathered, took away our stony hearts. Yeah. He took away all those things that was hardening us. Yes. Yes. And planted it with the choicest vine. And built a tower in the midst of it. Thank you, Amen. Thank you. Oh, watchman, what of the night they're off? Yes. Then he put watchman before us. Amen. And also made a vine press therein. And he looked that it should bring forth grapes. And it brought forth wild grapes. Oh, stimulation of revelation. And now, O oh, inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge, I pray you, betwixt me and my vineyard. What could have been done more to my vineyard than I have done, not done in the, it? Oh, what more could be done Amen. that he didn't do already? Yes. Send a prophet around the world yeah. with such great manifestations. Taking this world around the world. What more must he do for us? Amen. Yes. He's given us the opening of the words. Amen. He's given us all of his words. Yes. He's given us all of the promises. Amen. All that was in God, he poured into Christ. Amen. All that was in Christ, he poured into his church. Amen. But he's speaking here to, to, to Israel. <clears throat> he said, what could have been done more to my vineyard? That, have, that I have not done in it. Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes. And now go to, I'll tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away the edge thereof. You see what happens when you don't abide in the vine and produce of his own kind. Yes. This is what he's saying now. I will take my edge. You want to leave the world? You want to venture into the world? You want a taste of Lenosia? You want to be influenced by Lenosia? 200 million demons. Yes. They can be very influential. Yes. They know how to get to you. Demon powers know how to get to people. Mm -hmm. But they only can get to you when you leave the world. Yes. When you leave the word and you want to remain in a backslidden condition, in a time when you're about to take a rapture, people don't want to come and worship God. In a time when we're about to have a body change, people are not interested in the things of God and worried about how much they can achieve in this life. What he's telling us? He'll take the edge thereof and it shall be eaten up. And break down the wall thereof, and it shall be trodden down. Now trust me, none of God's children will be lost. Yes. But he will chastise. Amen. You won't be lost if you predestinated. Yes. But doesn't mean he won't deal with you. Yes. God will deal with you. Amen. Because you won't lose none of his. Amen. He didn't die in vain. Amen. None of his will be lost. But if he has to deal with you, he will deal with you. And that's why you find... Sometimes people go on in a backslidden condition and you hear of things happening. Happening to the families, happening to them. Until they go and repent and make things right. Yes. And I will lay it waste and it shall not be pruned nor dig, but they shall come up briars and thorns. I will also command the clouds that know that they rain, no rain upon it. For the vineyard of the Lord of the host 
is the house of Israel and the men of Judah is pleasant plants. Last quote. He said, now yeah, now he is here. He promised to be here. And now the only way that he can work is by his promise. I am the vine, you the branches. And the branches bear record that a life is coming from the vine where he doesn't have any life in it. But if it's energized by the life, it's got the same life that the vine has got. It's compelling itself or pushing itself up to the branch. Amen. So, if we are in him, sorry, it's one more quote. He said, but now he said, he said, and in this day of unbelief and superstition and all kinds of creeds, yet, you're the same God that stopped the son of Joshua. He's praying here now. You're the same God that stopped the son of Joshua. You're the same one was on the stick that Moses stretched over the sea. You're the same one that called lies, fleas, frogs, whatever it was, by the mouth of Moses. You're the same God that could put rain in the skies. You're the same one that's going to rain fire out of the skies. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. I don't know what your need is tonight. But he is a God that can perform paradoxes. Amen. Yes. He is here. Yes. How do we know he is here? Through his word. How did the two men from Emmaus identify him? The way he broke the bread. Amen. <laughs> so the way he comes and breaks his word, we know he is here amongst us. He promised never to leave us, nor forsake us. Amen. He said, I will be with you till the end. So I don't know your need tonight, but he knows your need. Amen. And if Jesus was here, he'll come to you and he will speak to you. He will tell you your need and he will make a way for you. But he's here through us, through you, through me, through his many membered body. Amen. Jesus has representation. He has representation on the earth now. Amen. The church became its mouthpiece. They began to speak for itself. He needed a mouthpiece. He needed someone that will take his word. He needed someone that will be true and faithful to his word. Now he has his representation yes. here on earth. Who will represent his word without compromising. Who will represent his word without being ashamed of him. Yes. Who will represent his word in its pure form. Amen. Amen. Without adding or taking out from it. That's what God is waiting for. Amen. A people that will represent his word. Yes. Yes. And we are the representatives of Jesus Christ on the earth. Amen. Amen. Because the wife must minister to the husband. Yes. Amen. When God was creating the earth six days, God saw everything was good. Sorry. But when he came to the man, he said it is not good for man to be alone. God was thinking about his family. Yes. That it was he knew that he needed a bride. He needed a family. Amen. God knew that he had to have his family with him. Because it was already locked up in him. Amen. You always had to be part of him. You come from his loins. Amen. So tonight, I don't know your need. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And my God hasn't changed. Amen. Amen. Maybe times have changed. People have changed. But my God is still the miracle working God. Yes. Yes. My God is still healer. Amen. My God is still the miracle worker. Amen. He still keeps his promises. Yes. He still keeps his word. Amen. Yes. He still keeps his appointments. Yes. He's the same yesterday, today and forever. Amen. Let's stand. Let the musicians come up. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Let's... Uh, you ready to worship the Lord? Amen. As we get into the attitude of worship, <coughs> let's focus our attention on Him. <coughs> let's sing the song we made. <coughs>
Lord, let's sing, Lord, I believe. Amen. Why don't you who the Holy Spirit? Why don't you who the angel of God right now? Amen. He said, if you can get the people to believe you, not even cancer will be able to stand in your way. to enjoy the fruits oh God and father I pray Lord even as your bride is on the earth now Lord then father Lord people must come and enjoy oh God the fruits that are coming out of our vine Lord Jesus we thank you Lord God that you are said you will never leave us nor forsake us oh God and we thank you Lord we know father God that you are not a man that you should lie Lord Jesus so, Father, we come, O oh God, Lord, with a Mark 11, 23, faith, O oh God. Lord, we speak and we believe your, our own word, O oh God. And, Father, we don't doubt our word, Lord, but we believe the thing that which we have spoken now, Lord. That, Lord, we believe that we shall receive that which we have requested and asked for, O oh God. We believe you are here, O oh God. And Father, we in our human element cannot do anything, Lord. But it takes the angel of God right now to come in on the scene. And Lord, even as you told the prophet, if you can get the people to believe, not even cancer will stand in your way. And Father, we come now, Lord, and we all agree that we believe your word, O oh God. We believe the words that have come forth tonight, O oh God. And we know, O oh God, we shall see a manifestation of your word, O oh God. We shall see a manifestation of the angel of God. God, oh God. And Father, because we have allowed our bodies to be used for as an expression. Oh God, Father Lord, that you can pour your spirit through us, Lord Jesus. We commit the service now and we thank you, Lord, for what you are doing, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for what you are about to do, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be your name, Lord. Glory be to your name, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You Thank, you, Lord. You Thank you, Lord. You deserve the Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful Jesus. Oh, Thank you. Amen. I'd like to invite our sister to come forward as we pray for her. Amen. Anybody else got a prayer request? The Lord was rude. Transgression. The Lord was. 
sister before the Lord she has come amen believing that the Lord is able to touch her amen I want you to deny sister I want you to deny every word that the doctor has spoken and believe the word of God the word of God says that by the stripes of Jesus you are healed the doctor may have told you one thing and according to the best of his knowledge what he studied he told you what is wrong with your body amen hallelujah He's done a diagnosis, but now the great physician is oh, here yes, and coming with another diagnosis yes, to tell you that yes, you are healed. Yes, yes, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, and all things are possible to them that believe. Yes, Hallelujah. I as a man, I cannot do anything for you, but I stand here as a vessel of yes, God. I stand here, amen, and the angel of God oh, is here yes, to yes, meet you at the point of your need. Oh, He's able to touch you. Oh, Amen. So you just believe in your heart. Believe right now that you are already healed. And I don't want you to confess another negative word over your symptoms. Amen. I want you to keep declaring, thank you Jesus that I am healed. Thank you Jesus that I am healed. Thank you Jesus that I am healed. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't tell another person that you are sick and unwell. Say thank the Lord Jesus has healed me. You maintain the positive confession of faith. Amen. And you shall receive your amen according to the confession of your faith. Amen. Father, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus, even as I bring my sister before you, Lord. Father, under the prophetic anointing of Revelation 10 and Malachi 4, O God, we come now, Lord, under our own commission of Revelation 10, 8 to 11, O God, and laying our hands upon our sister, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that the angel of God is here right now, O God, to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ever ask or think, O God. And Father, I pray, Lord, that you will touch my dear sister and make her every withhold. There is no truth of sickness, yeah. disease in this yeah. body, yeah. every yeah. demon power has to leave this body, demons we come against you in Jesus name, every demon power, every sickness, every disease that's hiding in his body, we expose you under the light of the Shekinah glory right now, and we ask you to leave this body in Jesus name, Father I pray right now oh God, and I bind every demon spirit, I cast out every demon spirit in the name of Jesus oh God, and I pray Lord every fear, every anxiety, you will leave this body. Every depression, oh God, every worry will leave this body in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. And I pray, Lord, that faith, oh God, will arise in our dear sister to believe your word right now, oh God, and declare that by the stripes of Jesus she is healed, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord, Father God, for the positive work, oh God. We thank you for the positive testimony, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that you'll help her to keep her testimony positive, oh God. And I pray, Lord, she will come back to testify. Yes, yes. of what you have yes, done, O oh God, yes, of what you have done in our life, O oh God, yes, that Jesus Christ is the same yes, yesterday, yes, today, yes, and forever. Yes, Angel of God, I pray right now, O oh God, you will touch her, O oh God. Deliver, O oh God, from every affliction. Keep her, O oh God, from all the attacks of the enemy, O oh God. We declare, O oh God, by faith, O oh God. And we know, Father God, the word will not return void, but according as we have spoken now, O oh God, we shall receive it, O oh God. Oh, Father, good measure pressed down and running over in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Keep confessing your healing. Amen. That by the stripes of Jesus you are healed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus, you are worthy, Lord. Amen. Jesus, you are worthy. Glory, 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 Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. You are worthy of us. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy of us. Oh, God, we know you can do it again, oh, God. And again and again, oh, God. You are the same God today as you always have been, oh, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You ever need a prayer request when you raise your hand? Even as you've heard the word, you want to be a fruitful vine? Amen. Producing fruits in this yes. hour. Amen. Amen. Remember, fruits are not for show. Yes. Fruits are for people to enjoy. Amen. Yes. 
Gifts are for people to enjoy. Amen. So say, Lord, make me a fruitful vine. Make me, Lord, full of fruits, O God. That, Father, I can bless others, O God. That I can declare your kingdom, your glory, Lord Jesus. Oh, you haven't called me to be idle, Father. But you put me into action and into service, O God, for your kingdom. Amen. Father, I pray for the hands that are raised right now. Lord, after the preaching of your word, O oh God. And Father, we thank you that we are connected to the vine. The very life of the Lord Jesus Christ is flowing through us, O oh God. We say that without fear or reservation. We say, Lord God, that we believe the Holy Spirit is here moving amongst us, O oh God. And Lord, we thank you, Father, for what you are doing, O oh God. We pray, Lord, that you would, Lord, flow through each hand that is raised right now, Lord, desiring for more of your spirit, O oh God. I pray, Lord, Father God, that the Holy Ghost will come upon their, their word, O oh God, their word seed, O oh God, and bring them forth to life, O oh God, to a full harvest, O oh God. And I pray, Lord, they will not hide their fruit, O oh God. And Father, well, they will not preserve their fruit, O oh God, but they will offer up their fruit to you, Lord Jesus, to say, Lord, Lord, let me be a fruitful vine full of fruits, O oh God, that, Father, I can be a manifestation in this hour, Lord. And I pray, Lord God, that you'll meet them at the point of need, whatever they're going through at home, at work. Our Father, I pray, Lord God, that you'll come and, Lord, deliver them from it. Give them the victory over every circumstance, every sickness, every disease as to leave, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God. We come against poverty, O oh God. We come against, Lord, demon powers that come to oppress us, Lord Jesus. Come to take away, Father, even as they strip Job of his wealth. Lord, we know demon powers are coming to strip the children of God of their wealth, O oh God. And Father, I pray, Lord, for a restoration. I pray for a multiplication over yes. their finances. I pray for a multiplication of their health, O oh God. Yes. That Father, Lord, that Lord, over every area of their life, O oh God, they'll be blessed, O oh God. Uh, Father, I pray right now they'll put worry under their feet. Yes. They will put anxiety under their yes. feet. They will put Lord stress. And Lord, all of this depression and everything under their feet in the name of Jesus, O oh God. And realize they are son and daughter of God. Hallelujah. I pray they'll release every hurt, every pain to you right now, Lord. Lord, Father, maybe they've been holding on to hurt. Maybe they've been holding on to pain and self-pity, Lord Jesus. But I pray right now, Lord, they'll release it to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I pray the peace of God that passes all understanding, Lord, will flood their lives, O oh God. And Father, I pray you'll give them a settled peace, O oh God. We ask these blessings now in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, with much thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. God bless you. you. May be seated. Amen. Thank you, Brother Joshua, for the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. How I many of you, you know, when you lose connection, you know it. In the natural, if you lose connection, you know it. How I many of you can say amen? If we take your cell phone networks, if you lose connection, you definitely know it. And doesn't losing con connection frustrate you? Yeah, I get very frustrated sometimes. Uh, ask Brother Ramesh. We're trying to have a conversation and in the depths of the conversation, the connection, we're missing words. And so losing connection is very disruptive. Losing connection can also frustrate you. So what do we always do when we're losing connection? We want to get reconnected. Amen. Amen. And you find for a time if you're disconnected from the connection, you're missing information. You're missing messages. You're missing phone calls. You're missing, amen, things in life. So we need reconnection. So what Brother Joshua is telling you, we are connected to the vine. Amen. Now the life is flowing freely through us. Amen. amen. The life of Christ is flowing freely through us. Amen. So you have to be under expectation. If the life of Christ is flowing through us, we are bringing forth the fruit of Christ. So healings, miracles, signs, wonders. Amen. We ought to be a fruitful vine. Amen. amen. Blessing everybody we meet. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 We become the very manifestation of, didn't Jesus Christ go and do all of that? Wasn't our Lord Jesus Christ the perfect example? Wherever they called him, he went. And he says, if you invite, the prophet teaches us, if you invite Jesus, he's a gentleman, he will come. He will honor your invitation. Amen. Hallelujah. So I pray, amen, even as you're hearing the word of God, amen, it'll take root in your heart to realize who you are in this hour. That the gospel cannot progress any further without you. Not another soul can come into the kingdom without you. Amen. That's how the kingdom was spread. Through men. Through women. Sharing the gospel. So let us be a good light on the earth. Let us be good witnesses. You know we are called to be witnesses on the earth. 
Amen. I, I want to encourage you not to just be a message church member. Yeah. Yeah. That's just satisfied with coming to church and hearing a sermon and going home. We need to be, each one of us, an evangelist. Amen. Each one of us sharing our testimonies. Each one of us telling somebody about the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for us. Amen. You know, when Jesus does something for you, when you got the Holy Ghost, there's just a joy within you. Amen. You've got to tell somebody. Yes. Amen. Amen. So I encourage you, tell somebody. Amen. The next five people you meet, tell them about Jesus Christ yes. and what he's doing and how he's preparing a bride for a rapture. Amen. Yes. amen. God bless you. We'll meet again on Sunday, the Lord willing. Amen. So don't forget, amen, the youth are meeting on Saturday. Amen. So I pray, amen, that you will uh, go along and support that. Amen. I believe they're going to the sugar rush. They're going to have a sugar rush. Amen. In Belito. Now it's not what you think. If you haven't been there, they're not going there to have full of sugar now. It's called Sugar Rush Park. Amen. It's just a place there. They've got some facilities for the young people. So they're going out there. Amen. So pray for the young people. Amen. How many of you pray for the young people? Amen. They're facing more challenges that you faced in your young days. Yes, right. Amen. So they need, amen, some time together. Amen. So they can spend time with the believers that believe like them. Amen. So if you've already made up your mind that you're not going, I want you to change your mind and go. Amen. So the place is quite big, big enough. So even if the older people want to go and... The kill grab here. Amen. <laughs> Even if the older people want to go, you can go and have your meal and have some fellowship together. Amen? Hallelujah. So if you're taking your children around, you can come along and have some fellowship. Don't be in a rush. Don't be in a hurry. Amen? Because if you're going to spend eternity together, then you should look forward to meeting yes. one another here on the earth. Amen? The Lord bless you and keep you. Don't forget on Sunday, amen, is, uh, is Mother's Day as well. So we'll be serving uh, lunch as well. So come prepared. Amen? To spend some more time after the service. Don't rush off. Amen. God bless you until we meet again.